Hi everyone, for this month's blog post um, on Hey Little Magpie, I've decided to tackle some loud background papers. Anyone who watched my videos will know that I'm not um, shy of using some really bright backgrounds. So I went through the store and picked up lots of um, different papers that kind of just caught my eye. Um, just gonna run through them all so you can see um, what I've got to work with. And please remember that just because this side is really bright, you've normally got a more subdued um, B side. So this is the basic grey second city, and this is called West Loop. Um, so this is quite a nice um, graphic design. On the back though, we do just have a plain red with a little bit of distressing around the edge. Um, I then picked up this piece from Moments and Memories by Cart Bella, and this is called Flourish. This has got this very graphic um, frame design. And on the back we've got a text print with these flourishes. Um, either of these sides could be used, but I think if I'm going to use anything I might try and use this side. And this paper is a lovely thick texture, like almost like a um, watercolour paper. Next up from Just Saying by Rona Farah and this is a My Mind's Eye and this is called Beauty. Um, this beautiful glitzy, hopefully you can pick up the glitz there. Um, really lovely. Um, with all these specs on saying everything has beauty. And on the back is this really nice um, triangle pattern. But I love this side. I may or may not use this for embellishments as well, but I really like this text print. Again, another one by Rona Farah for Just Saying. And this one is called, oh no, that last one was called Believe as well. Okay, maybe both of these are called Believe. Oh no, Beauty, sorry. Beauty and Believe. So this has a really nice teal with the gold um, stars on. But also on the back here, you've got a paper with a, an embellishment kind of already built in. Of course, you could cut this out. You could cluster around it. Um, I bought this because this is not necessarily my normal style of papers that I'd use. Um, this side I think you know you can use for anything but I may try and challenge myself to use this somehow. <clears throat> but I really like those glitzy ones. This is from the Jubilee Lee collection from My Mind's Eye. Um, it's called, it's from the Wild Berry and it's called Love. Um, and I really love this. <laughs> It's a very graphic print, um, so I think you know this this would work well with anything. But then on the back you've got kind of quite this um, repetitious pattern as well. So, but I didn't mainly think I'd get it for this side. Again, from the same collection, we've got um, this piece. I love this. I love the colours of it. Everything. Um, I kind of didn't pay much attention to the Jubilee collection. I really like this. And this is from the Wild Road again. It's called Hey You Geometric Paper. But on the back, you've got this really usable stripe as well. But I did buy it for this side. Again from Jubilee. Um, this is again Wild Berry and it's called Today Sketch Paper. I thought this would be really nice to maybe do some watercolouring in, it's already got some watercolour splodges on but then I really like this side as well so that's kind of quite a loud side and again the Jubilee, I went a little bit Jubilee mad um, this one is from Tangerine and it's called Awesome Shield Paper I love this paper, I really like the idea of colouring these in um, and using them so I might do that with this paper but it's also got this really nice sketched um, sort of chevron design as well. Again with the Jubilee. This is from Sherbet and it's called Happy Lovely Paper. Really love this stripe ombre. And I really like this floral side as well. Again, you could fussy cut these florals out. Again, this is from My Mind's Eye and it's called Pretty Bubble Paper from Sherbet. Really like this. This is a really nice... 
um, design so I may do it on this side because this side is just a lovely purple ombre again with the purple I know it's like the Pantone colour of the year but I'm really not loving it um, I had to get these bits from the um, Ellie's studio um, Sycamore Lane and this is called Feathers I'm not a huge fan of feathers but I love this kind of geometric feather and then on the back you've got a very usable orange polka dot again from Sycamore Lane and this is called Leaves really nice to have a tone on tone grey paper so I think this would be great for some autumn photos I just need to go and take some autumn photos <laughs> and then this is this really nice um, just like triangle design and I love this little border strip down here with the little leaves on um, again Sycamore Lane and this is together really like this triangle design triangle kind of seems to be very in and then you've got this arrow print here um, but I really like this side this I sneaked in as well because this was from a Christmas collection uh, it wasn't necessarily to use um, for this project but I really really just was drawn to this and as I was buying some um, Ellie Studio and this is from the Good Cheer and this is just the little divider cards and this got a cross hatch on the back so it wasn't necessarily to use with this project but I just thought I'd show you it because I did buy it at the same time I also bought this stamp which is from Elle Studio from the Good Cheer collection and it's got this official documents from the North Pole but what I actually brought it for was the fa la 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 really like that um, but I brought this because I thought these are going to be great for actually cutting up and it's got November, December, January on here so it would be very good um, to use this is from the Good Cheer collection and this is this really lovely number paper and I thought this may be um, a good um, thing to try and use so it is quite a loud background and then it's just got this music stave paper on the back uh, this is my first piece from the um, creative agenda I really really liked it but didn't actually buy any of it <laughs> but this is kind of like almost like a word search kind of thing um, it's kind of got a word and then sort of a checkbox you could cut these words out um, or you could use this as a background paper and then it's just kind of got a printed craft on the back um, I had to get some of the September Skies from, I didn't tell you the name of this one did I, fabulous. Um, September Skies from Heidi Swap and this is called Stargazing and I really love this paper, I really like the dark, you know, the dark navy. Um, yeah, I should really love it. <laughs> um, but So that's got a lovely pattern but then on the back you've got this green, um, lime green and white again um, from the September skies this is called Midnight Shadows and again it's a sort of eye cat looking chevron and really nice sort of two-tone navy and on the back you've got this beautiful grey um, sort of geometric design really loving that had to get the um, Alpine Rose paper again from September skies these would look great cut out um, really like the sketchy ones mixed in here so I had to get that and it's got this really um, lovely kind of again it's almost like that eye cat sort of tribal because these aren't sort of really like you know circular circles <laughs> um, I then picked up a couple of bits from the sweater weather um, collection again I really just love the tones of this um, and again I keep thinking I'm gonna go and take all these autumn photos I really need to go and do that um, but it's got this really nice kind of knit pattern some wood grain um, but I really like these and I think it'd be great for embellishments um, and then again it's a double-sided one and I love this little coffee mug with wood grain coffee and wood grain what is there not to like um, this again is another one this is called Ave Autumn and I love this kind of knitted looking heart really love the colours of this but it also has a lovely wood grain on the back so that's a really versatile piece of paper and then I just saw this paper and had to get it um, it's, it is from the Simple Stories Frankie and Friends it's called Spooktacular I'm not probably going to do any Halloween layouts I don't know, I may do a pumpkin carve a pumpkin so I might have that um, and again it's got this purple polka dot on and I really don't like purple um, but um, I got that because I think this would be a really cool design it doesn't have to necessarily be Halloween um, 
I could maybe do something about selfies or looking at me or I don't know I don't know if there could be many things that I could use this for so I hope you can kind of see I'm just going to take some of those um, cut apart ones out because they're not necessarily um, for this but I hope you can kind of see here that I've not been afraid <laughs> to kind of go for really bold patterns um, and these are all very workable so please don't it's a great thing if you look if you're looking in the sale as well um, you know the site has some really good sales throughout the year don't be afraid to buy some um, papers at a reduced cost because you can always normally use the back side for something because even though they're really really vivid most paper companies now put a sort of a more neutral design on the background so here we go these are my papers and I'm really enjoying you know kind of having a real sample and snippet from all of the different collections that are out at the moment that I haven't necessarily brought a lot from so here we go here's the lovely selection of the bright papers and my try and get fancy and flip them over and there you can see you've got a completely different palette to play with so um, just wanted to share those papers with you and I will be back with a, another lot of videos using these beautiful papers. So thank you very much guys and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye!